Hello out there. I was doing some routine cleaning today of this knife, the Spyderco Sage 5, and I wanted to just give you guys a follow-up on my experience with the knife so far. Since it has been a couple weeks since I posted the review, and um, it has been a difficult knife for a lot of people to obtain, so there's probably a lot of you out there who are still trying to think about this purchase, so I thought, like I said, just give you a little more insight after a couple weeks of use with the knife. Now, I've been carrying this knife for a couple weeks pretty regularly. A couple times I have swapped it out for another knife that I wanted to give some pocket experience, but for the most part, this has been a mainstay in my um, carry the past couple weeks. And I've used it for a lot of uh, tasks at work, especially, you know, cardboard, uh, plastic, styrofoam, all sorts of things. And the really good news is that this knife is definitely held up and is not just a pretty face, it's certainly a very functional blade as well. Uh, the S30V performs exactly as you would expect it to, you know, just like any other Sage, um, no real difference there, but it's retained its edge very well and you can see it, it looks basically brand new, so it cleans up very well as well. Um, Nothing in terms of functionality has changed. It's still very much on point. Um, but the big difference between this knife, obviously, and the other Sages is the compression lock. So that's really what I just want to touch up on here. If you watched my initial overview and review of the knife, you might remember that I had a slight issue with the pivot screw just being... Um, really extra tight because the knife was difficult to open and close and it didn't seem like it was breaking in fast enough. So I loosened the pivot screw just a little bit and um, I mean you see from the way it just swings down right now that it is silky smooth and perfect and and that's how it was after I initially loosened the pivot screw. So no change there and you know no big deal. But one of the things that I was sort of expecting to see from this knife was a little bit of blade play develop because my experience with the compression lock just in general, and the, this is the reason why I have the Paramilitary 2 out, is that after the compression lock breaks in, it gets really, really smooth, like stupid smooth the way this one is. And then this knife developed just a tiny little bit of side to side play. You know, and it's something that could probably be adjusted. It'll be difficult with the paramilitary too because these uh, pivot screws are really, really heavily loctited. But it's not a really big deal because it's such a minute amount of play that it, it doesn't really matter, but it's something that you'll definitely notice. So again, I was expecting to see that from the Sage 5 just because you have a similar locking mechanism and, you know, that's just what my experience uh, said would happen. But the great news is that that has not occurred at all. There has been zero play. This knife locks up perfectly. It's remarkably smooth. No up and down, no left and right, you know, but it, but it still functions and is, is perfectly broken in and as smooth as you could ever imagine. So again, I'm just raving about it because I'm just excited and it's defied my expectations and I had very high expectations for the knife. So um, in terms of functionality and the compression lock versus the other locks of the Sage series, I'd say this is a huge win. A huge win, you know, after a few weeks of use and as much breaking in as it's had, you know, you, you might expect to see something else, but no, this is definitely, uh, definitely not just a beautiful knife. It is one that you can get a lot of mileage out of and, and use a lot as well. So that's really all I have, you know, just wanted to follow up and let you know about that, that, you know, this knife in particular has been great. You know, I'm not sure what other people's experiences are. If you have similar or different ones, I'd love to hear about them in the comments down below. But my knife has been basically perfect. So I can do nothing but give it the highest recommendations. All right. So uh, thank you again for watching. If you have the time, take a look at some of my other videos. I either have posted or will be posting soon a giveaway for the Kershaw Intellect. And the good news is you won't have to be a subscriber to be a part of that giveaway. So take a look at my past videos. I might have posted it already. It might be coming very soon, but keep an eye out for that. And uh, again, thanks for watching and take care. I will talk to you again soon.